guys welcome back so today we are jumping into some borderlands 2 just running around shooting stuff and having a good time um but what we want to do is we want to talk about some key component things actually one key component thing that should be added into borderlands 4 when we do get that hopefully in the near future so we're going to a headhunter DLC and the reason why we're doing that one it's also December so Christmas is coming so we're going to do the Christmas DLC and two we're going to be talking about the headhunter DLCs specifically we're just going to run around we're not going to fight the snowman this time around um, we're just going to run around bullshit and basically just go ahead and just talk about some of the stuff I think we should be seeing so with Borderlands 4 I think headhunter dlcs should return the reason behind that is the fact that with these dlcs we did get cosmetics but we got raid bosses with them or somewhat like raid bosses and you could farm them and you can also like have a really cool map like this map is great this is the only borderlands game that has a christmas theme anything in it same, well, I wouldn't say the same with Halloween. Halloween, we did get the Borderlands 1 DLC, which was basically the uh, Zombie Island of Dr. Ned, which was an amazing DLC. Um, I feel like we do get our horror DLCs, which is great. Um, but Christmas, Thanksgiving, like, there's nothing else Thanksgiving um, besides Borderlands 2's Headhunter DLC. Like, I feel like... If they return in Borderlands 4, it would help. And I feel like they tried something like this recently, um, but they named it the wrong thing. And that's what kind of killed it for a lot of people. And what I'm talking about is Tiny Tina's Wonderlands DLC, which were basically called PLC, um, which were basically smaller DLCs. Um, they were still... A little bit overpriced and I feel like that if they were more in the price range of a headhunter DLC I feel like it would have went a little better but that wasn't the case and if they wouldn't have called them PLC and they called them headhunter DLCs I think that also would have made things a little bit better as well because they were basically the same thing except for not a singular map yeah you had like different rooms you can go to yes they were like basically um, the same rooms when you go through them, but it wasn't like a specific map. It just felt more or less like the Chaos Chambers. And I feel like they need to break away from that and they need to focus more on the, um, the, like, DLC or world building type of stuff. Um, I didn't dislike the Chaos Chamber, but I think that they made it such an essential thing that it kind of killed it for a lot of people. Like, oh, a huge amount of people just disliked that they had to keep grinding the Chaos Chambers instead of just going through maps and grinding the maps. So hopefully in Borderlands 4 and in Wonderlands 2, because they both have technically been announced in development. I'm not going to say announced as in, like, they're coming out soon, but um, they have been announced that they are in development um even randy pitchford said that yes borderlands 4 has been you know worked on and lilith is alive like we know things are you know in full swing but hopefully we get the treatment that borderlands 2 got years ago i think that that would actually help borderlands for a massive amount a lot of people um there's a lot of people that don't like borderlands 3 i don't know why i think that the game is magnificent the way it is i think that the dlcs made it even better and i think that the gameplay is just outrageously fucking fun but yes i do see where people come from with Borderlands 2. Borderlands 2 has that charm. It has that that um that just 
you really know that you're playing a Borderlands game with Borderlands 2. I feel like you just need to take the formula for 2 and the gameplay of uh, Borderlands 3 and Tiny Tina's Wonderlands, and I think they will actually have a game that's going to blow it out of the water. But I want to know what you guys think in the comments down below. Do you think that Headhunter DLC should return? Do you think it's a must-have for the next title? Um, and also, do you think that Tiny Toons Wonderlands is going to finally get the DLC treatment uh, that it respectively needed in Wonderlands 1 um, in Wonderlands 2? Do you think that we, are, we will finally see proper DLC in Wonderlands 2? Let me know in the comments down below. Remember to leave this video a huge like if you haven't already. Um, also, subscribe to the channel. It does help us out a lot, and it is completely free. It helps us out, and it shows us support. So if that you know makes you feel good, it would really be appreciated if you did hit that subscribe button. Before I go, I also want to mention that we are working on our Christmas special. Um, our Christmas special is going to be a painting video, so if that's not up your alley, I completely understand that. But I am a huge Bunkers and Badasses player. Um, I run the game, and I really want my players to um, enjoy a Christmas campaign. So I have a Christmas model that I want to paint up for my Bunkers and Badasses. It is not a Borderlands model. I have been painting a lot of Borderlands models um, recently. Uh, we're almost done those. So once they are done, I think I'm going to start working on the Christmas special. And we are also reaching our 1,000th video, which is just insane to think about. Um, but that is going to be me painting a mad moxie 3d printed statue i've had it for about two years and i just have not painted it yet and now that i've been doing a bunch of commissions and making money off of painting i decided you know what for my 1000th episode why wouldn't somebody want to see a mad moxie painted up even if you don't like the hobby i feel like you're still going to enjoy seeing moxie fully painted in a huge model form i think you guys would really like that but as always thank you guys for checking out today's video and i'll catch you all in the next one bye